Hello, my friends. Today we are going to talk about Open Text Vendor Invoice Management Solution. The Open Text Vendor Invoice Management Solution. The problem is the transaction codes are pretty big and too ugly. So very easy to know what are the different transactions that you you want to use. There is one area menu that you can use is slash n slash opt slash rem. So once you do that, okay. So here is so I'll just put slash OPP slash rim. See this. So I think I think I need to put like this. Slash N slash OPT slash VIN. Moment I create this, okay. Here you can see all the different types of transaction codes that is available. So you have display DP document, you have different roles where you will maintain different roles, okay? Uh, like, uh, so if I double click on it, I don't, I don't have authorization, but here I will just show you what are the different transaction codes that you are going to use. The workflow runtime, okay, UM reassigned is very important. Then you have reminder, and then you have the normal workflow transactions. Another very important thing, lots of people ask me, they want to do vendor invoice management. I think in order to, if you're doing the functional, it's fine. But if you want to be an open text uh, vendor invoice management expert, you need to know ABAP as well as workflow. So workflow administration is very important. And then there are other stuff like role test, test actions, and there are the normal VIM analytics report, the central reporting and all those things. And then you have customization, of course. These are very important stuff. Otherwise, you will put all the different options okay and then you have other other stuff which is very important is the installation piece which probably will not the basis will cover it but these are important pftc workflow browser and all those things so here very important so very easy what what we did is you just use slash n slash opt vim and just type in you have to put a slash in because they have the namespace of slash o so it thinks that it's a new uh, session that we saw but instead just put slash in to every transaction you re, uh, you use for rim okay and it's always good to use this idea menu uh, or else you can create your own favorites and live with that okay so that's it for this tutorial stay stay safe and happy sap learning